All right, guys, welcome back to another Wyman video. Tonight we're gonna do another video about this here little trail honcho. Now, uh, the trail honcho is a pretty new release from Axial. It's based on the SCX-10 II chassis. And uh, I do have an original trail, trail honcho that I've done a video on, kind of comparing the two together. Um, this guy here, I've been I've been working on um, doing a few upgrades, few mods, um, stuff that we can do with the 3D printer, and I will try to make available to anybody that wants them. Um, that does not have a 3D printer, or does not want to take the time to uh, try 3D printing their own stuff, um, I'll try to make these available to you. Um, one of the things I'm working on is uh, this guy here. And this is going to be a rear body mount. And he's actually going to mount to the chassis. Part of them will mount to the chassis and part of them will mount to the body. And the intent with this is, is this is it's still in prototype stage, but um, that you'll be able to lock that guy in, take the uh, pins out of the hood, and then it will actually flip up. Um, I haven't got it to quite hinge the way that I want it to yet, but... Um, it's going to flip up and actually allow you just to tilt the body straight up and only have two pins in it. And uh, the body will be able to stay on or you'll be able to tilt it to a point and then it will actually release from that and then you can lift the body completely away and then lock it back in and have it back on, on the chassis. And basically hold the body on with just two pins rather than four pins and the if you guys have messed around with the honchos before, the rear pins are kind of a pain in the butt to get to. Um, and I can kind of demonstrate that. Um, you, the, the older one was actually harder because the older one had, which this one does not, they deleted it from it, but the older one had the spare tire in it. And the, the pins come right up through here and then the fuel cell, faux fuel cell thing kind of got in the way and they were a real pain in the butt to get to. Uh, this one's a little bit easier, but still um, kind of a pain in the butt. So, um, yeah, this guy's actually going to mount right up underneath here to the chassis. The little hoops will go right through these rails right here, and then this whole assembly will flip up, in the, and you'll be able to just flip the body up, remove it if you want, or just use it as a flip to throw your battery in right quick and drop two pins on it, and then you're good to go again. So... That's the idea with this guy. Um, something else that I've been working on is uh, sliders. So I made up some uh, some rock sliders here for this guy. And I didn't want to do just, just a standard slider because, uh, you know, what fun is that? I mean, I've got a 3D printer and I've got uh, good modeling software. Why not, why not uh, do something a little cooler? So uh, I actually modeled these guys up to where they actually capture the body. So when you set the body down on here, they capture the body on the sides here, which, granted, uh, I did kind of steal that idea from the Axial ones. They Axial actually does have the uh, um, body capture faux slider things on, on the side of the, the JK, but uh, I thought that was a great idea, and, and uh, so I kind of incorporated it into mine with uh, an actual slider look to them. Um, and they're, they're actually relatively easy to install. Um, they, use the, they use some factory uh, mounting points here and just two screws. And they're, I mean, they're rock solid. They're, they're not going anywhere. So, I mean, that's, and that's just prototype, guys. So um, I've already uh, got a few guys that want these. And, um, and uh, I've got uh, some down at the hobby shop for somebody that wanted some. And, and uh, yeah. Uh, so anybody else wants them, um, hit me up on Facebook. Um, I'm on WARCRC. Uh, I've got a, a post on there in the Facebook group about these sliders. Uh, if you want to set, message me and, uh, I'll throw you my PayPal and, and, uh, there uh, right now I'm for the prototype stage ones. I'm charging 10 bucks plus shipping. So, um, yeah, hit me up and, uh, I'll get you a set. Um, so those are those. That's that's what I'm working on there. 
Um, I've got another little surprise coming for the front of this guy um, that I'm not really ready to talk about yet. But uh, as soon as I am, I will post it up. And uh, yeah, a couple other things I've done is I, I like watching I like watching other people's channels. I like um, uh, Harley Designs. Uh, he's doing the budget build um, on this guy, the fifty dollar budget build, weekly budget build, and uh, he's actually competing against. Um, I don't know if they're really calling it a competition. I guess they kind of are. Um, uh, but Matt over at uh, Scale Builders Guild. And so that's that's a great series to watch. Um, I enjoy those. And uh, uh, Harley does does a great a great set of videos. Um, I suggest watching him for, for scale stuff. But uh, I, I snagged one of his ideas. I really wasn't uh, too ex excited about how high this thing sat. Um, I really like uh, low CG on my trucks, so I did do his conversion with sliding these guys forward. Basically, you just unmount the the body mounts, and, or the excuse me, <clears throat> the shock mounts, and flip them side to side, and then slide them all the way to the furthest hole for, forward as you can, and then just mount them back up, and then swap the springs, the front ones for the rear ones because the front ones are stiffer. So you get a softer spring in the front, a stiffer spring in the rear to compensate for how much the shock is leaned over now. And you can see that thing's leaned over, that shock's pretty leaned over. So um, by leaning it down like that, it's, it takes a little of the tension out of it, so it does actually make it so it is, it is softer. Uh, lowered the ride height uh, about a quarter, a quarter of an inch um, from ground to belly. So... Um, yeah, I think for now that'll work for me. Um, I'm gonna work on uh, doing a uh, different front bumper um, for these guys, offering up a front bumper for these. Uh, I want to incorporate being able to reuse the lights because I've seen a lot of the bumpers for these don't incorporate being able to reuse those lights. So I'd like to do that. And then I've also thought about, uh, I was thinking about this tonight, about uh, and just kind of looking at how, how to do it is uh, putting a, a spare tire mount on here and whether I maybe change uh, change out how how this section of the tubing is mounted in I might make a new piece of tube that has a crossbar here that just kind of holds a spare tire up here on the back I thought that would be uh, actually sufficient um, but yeah I think it'd look kind of cool with a with a spare tire hanging off the back kind of Baja style um, I don't know kick me a message tell me what you think um, you know, I, I haven't got a whole lot of chance to, to drive this thing. Um, I do work full time and then also uh, I have two young, young kids. Uh, my oldest is uh, three and my young, my oldest is three and my youngest is 18 months. So um, between work and playing with them and trying to do videos and trying to do 3D printing, I'm a pretty busy guy. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a little slow going right now, but uh, We'll, we'll try to get some more content put up for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. And um, and the next video, I think I'm going to talk some more about some 3D printing stuff. Some stuff that I've been working on for 3D printers. I've done some mods with the 3D printers uh, to them. So um, maybe we'll, we'll discuss that. Um, and, you know, shoot me some ideas. Uh, some st stuff that you would like to see. Um, another project uh, I'm not ready to post up yet. But uh, I will when I get there. Um, it's kind of a time sensitive thing. And also um, it's, it's for somebody that would probably, that uh, will watch my videos. So uh, I, I don't wanna, I don't want him to see what I'm doing yet. So um, yeah, I'll post it up as soon as, as soon as I'm ready to do that. And uh, I'll, I'll keep trying to come up with some cool projects to show you guys. And um, like I said, I hope you like my videos. Um, subscribe. And uh, hey, till next time, keep making cool stuff.